Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make your own coffee pods with the coffee pod press available from me on my eBay store. To check out the information on the bottom, you'll be able to find it. Uh, coffee pods that uh, you buy in the store, they cost about 28 cents a piece. Uh, you can make your own for about 4 cents a piece. So what you do first is you take some normal coffee filters. You'll cut about an, an inch off the edge of these. Throw that away. I grind my own coffee. You can use pre-ground coffee as well. If you grind your own beans, you want to you want to have uh, almost on the espresso setting, but not quite. You don't want them uh, too fine. You just put that over the press. Press it down. Smooth out the edges. What that'll do is it'll leave a nice big pocket. You use about a tablespoon of ground coffee, more or less to your taste, but a tablespoon is what they normally call for on coffee. You want to fold these edges over. Be sure to press out against the sides of the form so you get a nice round coffee pot. Take your presser, press it down a little bit, and just press it out the bottom. And boom, you have a nice coffee pot. This will fit very well into your coffee machine. And uh, now I'll take a pause and I'll go over and show you how it works in the Sensio uh, coffee machine. Okay, we're back over here uh, near my Sensio coffee maker, and uh, I just have a bunch of pre-made pods. Uh, I usually make up enough to last me the week. I want you to notice that I uh, I use the the small cup. There's also a deep cup. If you are putting more than a tablespoon in the bag, you might want to use the deep cup. Um, but the object is to get as tight a seal as possible. So when you're using a tablespoon, the small cup seems to work best. Put the bag in there. You'll notice there's plenty of sealing room around the edges so that this top seal gets a good seal. Press it down. Start making your coffee. I wanted you to notice too that you still get the uh, the great frothing action from the from the homemade ones, just like the store bought ones. They're not putting any magic ingredients in there or anything. And uh, when this gets done brewing, you'll see it's a, a nice, nice, deep, uh, rich color, uh, great tasting coffee. Now that is one great looking cup of coffee. I open this up. You see the used pod in there. It's just like a store bought used pod. Oops. I'm going to turn it over and show you. And just throw that out and you're ready to go again. And that's it.